the economy is a major issue in the presidential race. And this morning, new concerns from the financial world. First Republic, a well-known regional bank, saw its stock drop nearly 50 percent yesterday after announcing a recent $100 billion drop in deposits. Now, this despite the billions it received from the nation's largest banks during last month's banking turmoil. NBC's Brian Chung is here with more to put it in perspective. Okay, this is confusing. A hundred billion dollars sounds like a whole lot of money. Just put it in perspective for us. Yeah, well, it was about 40 percent of their overall deposits. So a lot of clients are taking money out of the bank. And as you mentioned, Hoda, it's despite the fact that 11 of the largest banks put in $30 billion when a lot of the banking issues were cropping up about six weeks ago, when you recall Silicon Valley Bank and also Signature Bank ultimately went under. Now, First Republic, they haven't gone under. There's no talk about that happening right now. But when you see that 40 percent of the money was going out the door, you're wondering if we really are out of the woods after the banking issues about six weeks ago. Well, that's what it makes me think of, because I recall six weeks ago, there was this, that feeling of panic and contagion, like yeah. we started with Silicon Valley Bank and then there was a larger concern concerned about regional banks. Is there that same concern here that what's happening with First Republic, that that might cause some of those same concerns with other banks? Yeah. And for what it's worth, no other banks have failed since those two six weeks ago. But First Republic was at that time in you know conversation and a lot of scrutiny for potentially being the next one to fall. Now, when we talk about 40 percent of the money going out of the door, that's not happening at every other bank as well. So a number of other banks have reported over the last week. The average, as calculated by Goldman Sachs Economics Research, is only about 5 percent. So First Republic does appear to be an outlier. And for what it's worth, it's worth Reminding all Americans, $250,000 per depositor, that's how much you're insured up That was what I was going to ask you. People should not be panicking about this if they have their money there. That's right. And again, you have up to $250,000 in insured deposits. Yeah. Even if the bank that you have that money at yeah. fails, you will get that money okay. back. Okay. All right. Brian Chung. Brian, thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.